but like we watched it come in from afar and like watched it roll over and then like went up to the fifth floor and like watched it pour down. There was like snow, like hail coming down. It was sweet. It was so cool. That huge one on Saturday night, I was in a tent at Bisco for. Jess and I were like sleeping and we woke up to the thunder and all of, and we we're like, we're fine, we're fine, our tent's gonna stay dry and all of a sudden that huge lightning struck and it like shook the ground because it was so close to us. Get in the car, run! The kids in the tent next to us were tripping balls. They're like, what's going on out there? <laughs> we're like, come on, it's awesome! <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> this is one of the coolest landing storms I've ever seen, for sure. Bolts all around. I love summer lightning storms. Oh, the best. Warm lightning storms. Yeah, so. yeah. Amber and I in Minnesota, there's this one on the 4th of July, or the 3rd of July, I guess. There was this great lightning storm that started right when the fireworks started. Oh, shit. And, uh,. I was sleeping in a sleeping porch, mm -hmm. and I was supposed to be kicked out that night because there's like a really convenient location for people who have dogs there, mm -hmm. and my cousin with his dogs came, but then his, his fiance was just like, no, no, I'm not sleeping out here with the dogs during a lightning storm. They're going to be up all night whining. <laughs> And so I got to sleep outside. Oh, the there's the nasty just, like, scoop that I just stepped in. I don't know what that was. Is. Like out on a lake in the woods, oh like and there's no cars or anything. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. What was amazing today was watching all the families who went and stood under the tallest tree they could find during the lightning yeah. storm. We're all like, what are you doing? Go inside. Yeah. There's like families with little kids just standing under huge trees, like next to the engineering what? building. We're like, what? That's go, not what you go do. inside. Yeah. You think like families coming to Cornell who like, you know, they want their kids to come here. Like they'd have like enough sense to think like, oh, we don't stand under tall trees during <laughs> thunderstorms. That is like the one place <laughs> you, you don't stand. stand. <laughs> exactly. Like you don't stand next to big metal poles. You don't stand <laughs> under tall trees. Yeah. Well, I mean, they have to decide on the incoming freshman class somehow. <laughs> Natural selection must uh, contribute somehow, I guess. My dad had two friends that went hiking, their husband and wife, and they were like on top of this really tall mountain that was made of magtite, magnetite, something, some kind of like rock that's a cart metal, and they're on top of the mountain in an aluminum pole oh tent. God. It was like the 60s or 70s. Oh my god, that smells so good. And they got struck. Oh my god. And the husband died, and the woman survived, but with like very severe burns. Oh it's like, god. I would much rather die. <laughs> I'd much rather not survive something like that. Can't Crazy. imagine, yeah. Pretty freaking insane. It really is so much better with the drum. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool. Is that a 
multiply. Oh, that's cool. It's so simple too. You're not doing anything with them. 